Hello, welcome back to the uh, Shack of N0 YKS. Right about now, I'm just checking out the DX. It's uh, late evening style, late night DX time. 20 meters has been good. I've had one or two on 15. Missed 10, unfortunately, due to work commitments. Uh, but yeah, we're on the band right now. We're on 80 meters and we're on 40 meters. I'm uh, listening to both bands at the same time. And the reason why uh, I'm making this video is just to show you um, the, the actual use of this particular radio that I'm using the Yesu FTDX 101 MP and just how good it is on receive whilst listening to two different bands I'm running uh, the homemade 4080 fan dipole so in effect I've got a two band antenna up so I'm going to demonstrate 80 meters and 40 meters that makes sense so I've technically got a resonant uh, antenna for each band so the signals should be pretty strong on both bands at the same time. The reason why I'm doing this is I've noticed on other radios which have dual subs or dual VFOs, you sometimes get a degraded signal on a separate band. For example, if I'm listening on 20 meters and I move to say 10 meters, I may have a very weak reception or no reception whatsoever. If I'm on 20 meters on both VFOs, the signal will be strong. That's the previous situation. With the other radios but with this particular radio it doesn't really do that so let's take a quick look and see how strong the signals are at the same time on both vfos both main sub and like i say second sub so i've got the uh, 80 meter vfo set there that's the main vfo and i've got the sub vfo set to 40 meters so i've got the main control and the sub control which indicates which one i'm using so right now i'm on the sub I'll just find a, a, a station. Turn the volume up. Just turn the volume down on 80 and they've got separate volume for each sub. So that's coming through nicely on that one. Let's flick to the main sub. We're on 80 meters. I'll keep the volume up on that. I can still hear 40 meters, but now I'm on 80. Let's bring the volume in for 80. I'll just drop the 40 meter volume down and stick to the 80 meter volume in a second. Sounds complicated. It's not as bad as I'm making it sound. So listening to the 80 meter DX portion, I can monitor that. I should be at way 40. So you should be able to see both S meters. Just back that down a little bit on that one. So 80 on there. 40 there, obviously. So yeah, as you can see, no signal degrading whatsoever. I'll just flick it to, four, to 20 meters. So we've got 20 meters on this VFO. Back the 40 meter volume down. I don't think there's too much activity at the minute on this particular antenna. I'll just try a little experiment and flick it to my beam. See if we can pick up any... Now we've got a little bit of signal coming through on the beam. And obviously, you can still hear the 40 meters, I'll just pull it in. Let's tune that in. 
obviously not quite as strong due to the non-resonant antenna but still perfectly readable you can gain up so I've got the, the uh, 20 meters Let's bring the volume down on that so bit we have both stations quite well 40 and 20 so if I want to monitor both I can put I can change the look of the uh, display and get two waterfalls up so the, the top one is the sub the bottom one is the main Puerto Rico Back to the top, let's have a quick tune about on 40. You can still hear 20, of course. So, different view for the two waterfalls, obviously, side by side. Let's bring that back down 20 meters let's just uh, take that to that signal and see what's going on on 40 so 40 meters by itself 20 meters hang on a sec on to the main one So quite a bit of activity actually on 20 meters. 3DSS display if you wish on both. Which you know it's not bad, but prefer the waterfall. Sugar five, three kilo sugar. Any fox up? So yeah, pretty useful when you can actually receive properly on both VFOs at the same time, cross the bands. 20 meters. Forty meters. So yeah, just wanted to demonstrate the uh, usefulness and the quality of the reception. So I'll just turn the 40 meter one down. Go back to the waterfall on that one. Waterfall on that one, I can go single display. Increase the gain for the level. So a pretty versatile radio on receive. Awesome. Just gonna completely knock off VFO or shall I say sub VFO and go back to one. So yeah, a bit of activity around this area. So quite a lot of activity around this portion of the band. I'm just going to move on to uh, 80 meters, put the big antenna on. And just put, bring that sub on again. 
So I'm on the sub now, on the big antenna. Let's just uh, bring the volume up. Turn the RX on. See what we can hear. So yeah. So that's on the dipole. I'm just going to switch to my vertical. So yeah, pretty good reception we're hearing Russ from Canada. So that's about it, just a quick one showing the chaos in the shack. So I'm probably going to just monitor for a little bit longer, sounds like 80 meters is going to be in reasonable shape. I managed to work um, over across the pond yesterday uh, in the stateside on 80 and uh, yeah it's been pretty good actually, it's starting to pick up. Obviously 40 meters is sounding quite lively, so is 20. And uh, yeah, it's M0YKS just demonstrating how you can listen to two bands at the same time. A lot of you will say, why would you want to? Well, obviously, you know, it's, it's useful in a contest when you're searching for uh, a special calls, things like that. Quite good for the WRTC contest. You can be looking, waiting for one to finish and uh, be searching for another one on a different band. So that's the story. But you do need, obviously, antennas which are suitable to receive across multi-bands. There's no point in trying it with a monoband antenna. You'll, you'll get a, a much weaker reception. So thanks for watching. I'll probably come back again with some other information regarding this wonderful transceiver. I'm really enjoying using it and uh, yeah, what a piece of kit it is. It's got exceptionally good reception and obviously extremely good transmission as well. This is M0YKS signing out and looking forward to catching you on the next video.